You might not have ever thought about adding GPS to your drone, but today I'm gonna to show you why for 20 bucks, it can be one of the best decisions you will ever make. It's working perfect. Are you in control? Disarm. Oh, I did it. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and this is something I've never dabbled into now. 10 years in drones, and I've never thought about putting a GPS on my drone until I saw Stickman Steve show me exactly how easy it is, and now I kind of feel if you're about to drop some money on a drone or take it on a risky mission, there is no reason why you shouldn't put one of these in. Today, we're gonna to go through that process. We're gonna get out to the field. You're gonna see our first ever flight and see, does it come back? Is it gonna get lost? How it's gonna go through? All that sort of stuff. We're gonna have a look at the setup and catch up with Stickman Steve. He's gonna take us exactly how he went through his setup. So when you're flying around, how does your GPS work? How do you set it up? And the best of all parts, we're gonna show you the results. Now, what we are using as a bit of an overview in this, this is our sort of long range testing cruising rig. We've got some videos coming that I can't wait to show you about that. But you can see right here, this is uh, one of the Foxeer ones. I think it's like the MQ or the MO120. So a really small little unit right here and it's doing everything we need it to do. That's gonna be down below, but what I'm gonna do with a bit of magic of editing, let's get Steve in here. He's gonna show you exactly how he set it up, and then let's go have some fun in three, two, one. Oh, oh Steve, you're here, Great, wow. Man. Thanks very much, editing, a bit of magic right there. So talking about GPS, you're gonna go through in a second, show us how to set it up on the computer. What do you need, like five minutes? Do you reckon anyone yeah, can do it? Five yeah, minutes. super simple process. How did you set yours up in here? Because yours is a little bit different. People would have seen like our normal one with like just four wires on here. Yep. But yours, I'm having a look, has uh, six. It does, and honestly, from what I understand- I'll get it in the roof cam. Without, yep. without looking into it at all, that's for your compass site. So if you're gonna start running INAV or something like that, yep. super long range missions. Okay. For what we need, just GPS rescue. Just to return to home, never lose yep. it again. Okay, and why did, where, what is this one? Because yours is significantly smaller. I've got a TBS one, what's your one? That's a Foxia M10 ship, I believe. Yep. But that's literally the smallest one they make. Is that why you got that? Yeah, okay. trying to keep it lightweight. Well, we gotta, so easy to set up yours there's actually some pads on the board it went to like it needs a tx and rx mm -hmm. uh ground and power however this one was a little bit different it also had some two different pads at the yeah. front and that's dependent on if your flight controller has like a um not a barometer but like a compass and things like that to yeah, wire yeah. Up so too. if you're going to use from what i understand it's more inav versus beta flight yep yeah so yes yeah, so i think on the pads it's called sdl scl yep you can wire them up I'm not going to use them at all for yes this you've got them but we're yeah. not we're not going to yeah. use them all right uh let's jump over to the computer you can show us how you set it up so, all right we're going to go through so first things first i can see we're over on the ports tab yep, yep. Ports tab. so whichever you are you have uh the flight controller i used and many of them have a dedicated UART with a certain voltage pad that will power the GPS straight from USB. Mm -hmm. So that's even easier in the field. You can let it warm up off USB power to your phone or whatever. Yep. So obviously corresponding UART, enable GPS on sensor input. Yes, and why is your, I gotta say, your is that the board rate? That's why, the board rate. Okay, yeah. why have you changed yours? Why is that not on auto? So if you leave it on auto, it may or may not work. If it does, it may not work to its its best potential. Mm -hmm. So go to the manufacturer's specs on their webpage for the, the particular device you wired in. In this case, the little Foxy unit was 115200. Make sure that's selected. Save and reboot or you'll lose it. Yep. Once you finish with your ports tab, head down configuration. Scroll down to this section here, enable GPS. Mm -hmm. Now, I must say as well, this will only work if you have Beta Flight 10.5 or newer, I believe, yep. actually installed on the, the um, flight controller. Okay, so update your firmware, yep. Yep, and then enable expert mode. That'll bring up the GPS menu. U-Blocks is the preferred. From what I understand, NMEA is basically obsolete. So U-Blocks. It's a tricky mouse. Yeah, dodgy oh, mouse. Yep. Oh, the button yep. just fell off. Look. <laughs> fell off. Okay. So we don't have a button right here. This is the PC that we're using. Yes. It's like a headset, bro. Yeah, I know. Everything's falling apart here. All right. All right. Let's continue. We got this. Okay. So once you've got GPS turned on, mm -hmm. protocol selected, auto board should be turned off default as. That's because we set it tab. in the ports tab. That's yep. right. So okay. if it's off, go back. I mean, if it's on, sorry. Turn it off, go back to your ports tab, make sure you select the corresponding board rate. Yep. Auto configs fine. Galileo supplements the U Blocks protocol. Okay. So if it's going like to use it, great. If not, whatever, doesn't hurt to have it. Yep. This is the best one that I found to leave on. Mm -hmm. So set home point once. 
If you fly, as soon as you arm, it'll set that as your home point. If you fly away, land, or have a crash and have to disarm, rearm, if you've got set home point once turned on, it'll always use your first point you took off or the first point you armed with that battery pack hooked up. Yep. If you turn that off and go have a crash and have to rearm turtle mode or whatever. And then you hit return to home, it's going to fly back to that one. That's going to reset the, the home yeah, okay, point. Yeah, okay, okay. So that's like, yeah, lock your home point once per battery on the mm-hmm. very first time it, yep. it, it arms. Okay. Definitely. Okay, all right. What's the next tab we need to jump over to? Fail safe, probably. For, Fail safe. This is when we're using it to get it back. This is the important part. Absolutely. So then it'll come up, obviously, with the channel fallback settings and all that. Yep. Um, that'll come to the next one in modes. So you've got your GPS rescue. Over here, you want to set it to GPS rescue, and here you can set your angle. So when it's flying back to home, that's the the angle in angle mode that it will use. Yes. Initial altitude, I bump that up because the place I normally fly this is a bit further out. The trees are 30, 35 meters. Okay, so you want it to be high in that. So from yeah, and from our testing, mate, and from what I've seen, whatever you set this to, when you engage the fail safe when you're testing it or when you lose reception and it kicks in as a fail safe mm-hmm. the initial altitude will climb this value from what it was when it I got gotcha. you okay yeah that's good yeah so you don't have to worry about sea level heights or anything like that mm. it's like hey you've hit this button let's go to this many more meters yep. from where we're up to okay yep uh these ones here i just left all default uh so where we're flying around it's, it's fairly open there are big trees but it's fairly open yes um the only thing that's really critical is the throttle hover. Okay. Throttle hover is obviously you want to get a, a value on your stick of where the quad is fairly stable hovering and set it to that. Mm-hmm. So once it's figuring what out what it's doing in terms of rescuing itself and coming home, it's going to want to climb to a certain altitude, use that. All right, and that's probably what uh, descent rate is going to be right descent there. Descent rate. So that's one of the only ones that I changed. I dropped it right down. Yep. Um, it was I gotta say yours was very smooth coming in. It looked like perfect, perfect landing. For a seven inch it's very light, so I didn't really mess with the throttle hover at all. It's yep. like honestly that's just default setting and it worked perfect. Okay. Alright. Alright, so and what's this arming without fix? So basically if you turn that on, you can see here in the big red writing, warning GPS rescue will not be available. Okay. So if you don't have the minimum amount of satellites locked and ready to go, you turn that on and arm the quad because this is enabled. Yes. Then GPS rescue won't work. Okay. So leave that off. Okay. All right. Save reboot. Yep. <laughs> uh, no presets. Do no. we have to do anything in the receiver besides check you had the correct mode set up? So like you had yours on Ox six. Yep. And with this too, you can obviously get a um, a value for your your throttle. Oh yes, yes. Um, and then in modes, I'll just hide these real quick. I've never used that button. I should use that in the so future. GPS yep. rescue. Just add it to your corresponding channel. I've okay. Got, I've got mine set on a three position, just in case I bump it by accident a little bit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, all Bit the way over on a three position. Roger, that roger. That's it. Do you have to do anything special for the uh, GPS setting right there in here, or that's just purely information? That's just, yeah, that's just information. So as the quad's booting up, you'll just see all the sats that are available. Here yep. they come. Uh, I'm not too far from home, so I don't know how long it will take. Yep. But yeah, and then it'll just give you basically a nice little picture aerial view. Of like where, Google, where we Google are. Maps, yeah. Too easy. Um, Anything else? Is that it? No, I think the biggest thing that I found with this flight controller is being able to plug it in USB and warm the GPS up. Okay. So you get a hot start when you're out in the field. Yeah, I did see that we plugged it in on your phone, Mm. and then um, it was like getting a lock while it was while we're waiting, so we didn't have the VTX cooking or anything like that. Yeah. So if you don't have that as part of the UART for your your GPS on the quad, perhaps look at doing a VTX power switch Mm -hmm. or something like that. Yep. But then in the back of my mind, I'll always be like, oh. What if I hit that by accident and I lose video? Yes, but that's then you've true. got your fail safe with the GPS. And it'll come back. Too yeah. easy. All right, should we go test it out? Yeah, please. Let's do it. <laughs> What's going on? It's telling me I'm already at 50 meters altitude. Okay, like, yeah. Bro. Well, we might. Maybe it's above sea level. Yeah, who knows? And there's a radio out here in the field. We're gonna do it. We're jumping straight in. We got Stickman Steve's long range build here. We have got a few projects on this. We do. You've put your little GPS on, so yeah, if you can just right, right there. Uh, I don't know about that placement for me. I'm worried it's going to get hit by the props, but we'll see how it's going to go. And we're about to test the return to home function on the GPS. So how hard was it to set up? Uh, pretty easy. Pretty easy to set up. I okay. hope I've got everything right. Yep. But... We, we've just got it locked in. We checked on the phone. Yeah, we've got 18 got GPS locks. 18 satellites, which are good. We're going to... 
send it and you're going to hit the emergency button so like if we've lost it or something and, yeah. and what's it supposed to do when you hit that button uh, climb to a fixed altitude that I've preset yep it's got a maximum angle I think 45 degrees I left that default for, okay. for moving forward yes the only thing I haven't done is the hover throttle which apparently is pretty critical but uh, okay, no. okay so then once it's, what, it's going to fly back here and then what and then hopefully land <laughs> Okay. Now it's not going to be able to see any of these trees or anything like that as well. So, so you're going to, oh, you going to go there, go out that way, and then what? Launch it. We got some, a bit of a distance to cover. Yep. And there's a lot of water around at the moment. Yeah, there is a lot of mud and a lot of water. So we'll see how accurately it, yeah, it goes. I'm so nervous. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit nervous too. This is why we don't have digital in there though, right? Because yeah, you I don't. Remember want to... Last time we tried it was with that Y6. Yeah, people haven't seen that video, but we did try a GPS oh, thank you, dis yep. disappear. But oh, that's fine. And it just started to take off. But yep. um. That wasn't set up by us though. It that was wasn't not. set up by the, let me put it out here, the master coder stick man, Steve. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. do it and hopefully get this drone back. Let me know in the comments if you think we're going to get it back. I'm feeling 50-50. Okay. All right. All right, Steve. I'm going to watch from this point of view. Do you want to face me? Um, not really. <laughs> okay, you're good. You're good there. The drone. Okay, I can see it. Uh, uh, sound good. Okay, I am watching it. Tell me when you get, you're above trees now. Yeah, just getting out. Yeah, nice, probably like there nice. somewhere is where I would hit it. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's going up. Yep, I've got no throttle. Yep, it's, it's, I'm watching it go. It's, uh, it looks like it's moving. It's going above these trees. Tell me if I need to flick it off. Eh? Well, I kind of lost it a little bit. Oh yeah, it looks like it's coming down. Look at this, it's looking good. It's working perfect. Are you in control? Disarm. Oh, it did it. It did it itself. Shut it. Woohoo. How close? Oh, it's like five meters. Bro, that was That's sick. perfect. That's awesome. Oh, let's go do that again. Let's go, go test that. I'm going to go to the end now. Did that work way better than you expected? Yeah, instant. I sort of lost it when it went above this tree because mm. I was, ex I should have reframed myself here. No, that's it. But, uh, that was perfect, like it landed. Let's see how close we can get it between the takeoff. We'll take off from somewhere and yep. see how close it lands. Let's yeah, go do that. Yeah. All right, we're in that little sandy patch. Yep. Um, well, you're standing sort of where it landed. I would I would at least be five meters Once back. Once I flick the switch this time, I've got a bit more faith in it. I'm oh, you can take the goggles off. off. Yep. Yeah, okay. And we'll just see how we go. All right, all right. All right, I'm gonna go for a bit of a send. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. All right, go for it, brother. All righty. Let's see how we go here. See ya. Disappearing. It's going Hello. out out there. Needed. Yeah. Flick the switch. Okay, take your goggles off. It is. Can you see it looks like a bird going up? I'm pointing at it up over that way. No idea. It's sort of heading up towards the sun now. No, I can't see it. It's way over here. <laughs> It's coming. Yeah. Can you see it? No. So it's... Okay. Look, take, it's now like directly under the sun. Sort of. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, how good's that? So let's see. Oh, look at it up there. Oh, oh I can't. It's directly blinding us. It's trying to burn our retinas out. Here she comes. I'm getting away a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I, I need to be able to see this better. I'm getting a shade here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's doing a little turn. I'm moving back a little. Ah, he's Steve's not on the sticks at all. Nah. It's doing its little hover, its little spins. Oh man, Five absolutely meters. perfect. Well, this Five is or so. this is how close we are. There's the drone. Pretty good. And that's where we took off I don't from. I do it on the boat while we're fishing though, Stu. Yeah. Now, if, if we were setting that up at home in terms of a fail safe, yep. can you have it so, okay, you've lost your RF link, just fly myself back here. As soon as it loses RF, that's <coughs> it, that's the whole point. Okay. Or if you flick the switch. You yep. know, if if yep. you lose video and you're like, oh shit, but there's nothing above you, yep. just bang, flick the switch and it'll do that. Man, I kind of like that for that's doing some awesome. long range missions. And that was so easy to set up and uh, yep. have a look. All right. I'm stoked. Hey, okay. That's awesome. Uh, easy out of 10. Who could Mate, do that's this? 10 out to anyone. Yeah. And where you're, I'm going to say, you're not like the most beta flight backpack developer, no all that way. stuff. 
You just right. want to use it and get flying, and so super easy process. Yeah, especially for long range too. Yeah. As you know, I've done zero long range. Yeah. Really keen to get into it, do some filming in the hills while I'm camping and whatnot. And especially now that we can just fly itself yep. back. Like if you lose video, if you lose any link, yep. this as long as it's still got power, will try to yep. make its way home. Yeah. Cool. All right. Awesome. Thank you. That's so that worked good. really well. Yep. I'm surprised. I've actually got a fair bit more faith in it. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I thought it would do something. As in positive, but not as quick. Not as that, right? not like as, bang. Yep. Not as like it worked first time out of the box with like no mucking around, no fine tuning. It's like oh yeah, yeah. I can return to home. So with all that said and done, I never knew how easy it was. I mean, if Stickman Steve can set it up, but definitely you can set it up at home as well. And if you are the sort of person who has an expensive craft, maybe it's over a couple of hundred dollars. Maybe not just on the cheapest drones, but if you've got an expensive craft, you want to get it back. You're doing a risky mission, or you just want to have that extra fail-safe option. Putting a little GPS on here with how easy it is and cheap is just a 10 out of 10 sort of no-brainer. So look, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Big shout out to Stickman Steve, and also you can see him in this video. Alright, so I can see the line down here. It's not going to show up on camera, but uh, did you keep your angle constant or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, pretty much just flew straight forward. Just okay.